Hello and welcome to BIM 360 Basics. Today I want to tell you about a new feature that I think is really going to change the game for BIM 360 and that's public links. What I mean is you can select pretty much any file in the project files directory in BIM 360, click the share link at the top, and the new feature that I'm talking about is when I click this drop down here you'll see that there is now a share with public option. Anyone with this link can access this document. This is big news because up until now, the only people that could get into any place in BIM 360 were the folks who were invited into a project. Now that means you can share your documents and files and all kinds of things with people who are outside of your project structure, which means they don't have to have a BIM 360 license or even an Autodesk account. So let's dig in a little further and see how it works. I can choose whether I want to send this to people by email or to simply create a link. So if we do it by email, I can type in the email address. Type in a message for that person. Here's the file we spoke about. And then simply click send and they'll receive an email that contains a link to the file. I'll go ahead and do that. So here's a look at the email that you would receive if somebody shared a file with you in this way. You can see the name of the person that shared it, here's the message that I wrote, and a link to the file. I'll go ahead and click on that link, and you can see that I'm given a screen where I can download the file. I wasn't prompted to log into BIM 360 or even into an Autodesk account. I can click the link, download the file, and go about my business. Now I will point out that although this is a download link, it is a link to the most current version of the file. So if you were to send this email out on Monday and the person didn't open it until Thursday, if you had made changes between Monday and Thursday, they would get the latest version. Now there's actually an option for that. Let's take a look. I'll share a different file. Let's choose this one here. Notice the setting down here at the bottom. Share a current version latest. I can also change that to share current version fixed. So that in the scenario that I described, if they open that file on Thursday and I've made changes between Monday and Thursday, they're going to get the version that I sent on Monday so you have control over that. Now something else that I need to point out is the expiration. Notice that it gives me the option to choose when this link expires and it must expire. It can't go on forever and in fact there's a limit that I believe is around 90 days. You can see that uh, I can go through May, June, about to the middle of July and that's as far as I can go. Today is April 21st, so that's about three months is the longest that I can allow this document link to be present. Now let's go to the link tab here. Same idea. The only difference here is rather than sending an email, I can make this link and copy it, paste it in an email, paste it in an IM window, in a text message, whatever I want to do with that link, and I can share it with as many people as I like. So I'll go ahead and close out of this. And you'll notice that for the two files that I shared, there is a shared icon in the shared column. This just lets me know that files have been shared. It also gives me an opportunity to remove that sharing capability. If I hover over the word shared, I can come up here to delete link, and that will remove the link. So anyone I've shared that link with, whether it was through email or just by copying and pasting the link, that link won't work anymore. In fact, let's see what happens in that email. I'll remove both links that I created and we'll call up that email and if I click on the link you'll see that I'm unable to open that file. One more thing I want to show you. For public sharing to work it must be turned on in Project Admin. Now it is on by default but let's say you've got a project where you don't want public links shared. Well you can turn it off by going to Project Admin on the Services tab, Document Management, you'll see a tab here called Advanced Settings. Click on that, and here you can see the Share Documents Publicly option. You can turn that off for any given project if you don't want your users sharing 
things publicly. Now, I did mention that it worked for project files. Unfortunately, it doesn't work for the plans folder, at least not at this current time. You'll notice that if I go to a file in the plans directory, choose a file and then click share, you won't see the drop down with the public links option. Something else you might be wondering about is what happens with multiple files or folders? Well, I can choose multiple files and share them. And what happens is BIM 360 will create a separate link for each file. Now, what happens if I choose a folder? Let's test it out. I'll go back one level here and choose my PDF test folder, which has a whole list of PDFs in it. And I'll share that. We'll go to the link tab and we'll copy the link here. Paste it in. Let's see what we get. Notice if I click the download link, I'm offered a zip file this time instead of individual links for the files. So I download the zip file, I extract it, and all of my PDFs are going to be in there. So I believe that covers everything you need to know about the new public links option in BIM 360. Thanks for visiting BIM 360 Basics. Keep checking back to BIM360Basics.com for more tips, tricks, and tutorials all having to do with BIM 360.